Hello folks, this is Norm the teacher again. Got the urge to teach you something else. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can handle uh, a real tough axle nut that's on the front end of many vehicles and also on the rear end of some uh, vehicles also. Uh, they are really, they are real bear cats. I want to show you something here. See these two breaker bars? Well, first of all, here's the axle nut that I'm talking about right there. A 30, 32 millimeter uh, taxle, axle nut. See these two breaker bars here? The one on the right here is I call Big Bertha. And then the one on the left here I just bought today at Menards, or the yesterday at Menards, and I call that one Big Sam. I, I, I have not been able to break it loose with Big Bertha at all. Not even come close to it. So I went to Menards and said, okay, I'm going to buy me a, uh, a $75 breaker bar. This, is, this breaker bar cost me $75. Bucks. It's 40 inches long. It has a 3 quarter inch drive, and it has a 32 millimeter uh, impact socket here. And I'm going to show you that that doesn't even break it loose. Uh, the specs that Chilton puts in its manual is uh, f for this particular nut is uh, to torque it at uh, between 174 and 240 something foot pounds I think. I think that this is torqued on beyond that because it just does not break loose. Uh, I've had trouble with the uh, driver's side but I finally got it broken loose with another thing that I bought and that's there is an impact wrench I got at Menards along with the breaker bar. And I call that, that's, I named it Electric Elaine. And I want to show you that, uh, first of all, I want to show you how I, I struggle with the uh, Big Sam breaker bar with the three quarter inch drive, and it doesn't even budge this nut. And then I'm going to use the Electric Elaine and show you uh, how it, I'm, I'm sure it will break it loose like it did on the driver's side, because I struggled on the driver's side just as much as I did on this passenger side right now. But I saved this passenger side uh, to, uh, to make this video. And so I'm going to put this down here. Set it on my little stool that I use to uh, do work on. And make sure it's in view of both my cameras. Okay, I'm going to show you that even Big Sam, Big Sam isn't going to do this. Put it on here, and then I have to. Uh, I use this uh, pry bar. <sighs> okay, there. Okay, I put the pry bar in here to block the uh, wheel, or not the wheel, but the uh, disc. Okay, now that's locked in there. All right, now here we go. I'm going to try as hard as I can with Big Sam. Okay, Big Sam doesn't do it. Big Bertha certainly didn't do it because... Uh, now, I'm going to use Electric Elaine. And I'm not even going to have the wheel blocked. The wheel does spin freely now. And watch what Electric Elaine will do. I got this uh, at Menards also uh, on sale for $79. I think it was $69 or $79. And it, it's well worth it. It has a rocker switch. Uh, if you if press on the top part. And plug that. When you press on the top part of the switch, it goes uh, counterclockwise for loosening. If you go uh, on the bottom part of the switch, it goes clockwise for tightening. Now what they suggest uh, that you do is you, you try to loosen it first, and then if it doesn't budge uh, right away, uh, actually uh, may, uh, hit it where it's tightening a little bit. That back and forth motion uh, apparently helps to break the rust free. So I'm going to uh, 
I'm going to uh, do this uh, where it's going counterclockwise for loosening. And then I'm going to go clockwise for tightening. Okay, now I'm going to uh, do a uh, counterclockwise again for loosening. Now tightening. And there you go. I can't believe it. The electric Elaine does what Big Sam couldn't do. Does what Big Bertha couldn't do. And it just amazes me. That I did not pre-loosen this, by the way. Uh, I, I, want, I actually wanted to see if this would uh, loosen it for uh, you when I did this video. So that you could actually see it happen. And uh, so there it is. I don't know what they've torqued this at, but at, as far as I'm concerned, it's probably way over torqued. And there it is. It goes on again, nice. No thread damage. Electric Elaine did it, right there. Oh, well, I'm gonna get the box. I want you to. I want you to see what type of uh, thing this is. What brand it is. I'm getting the box. I'll be right back. This is not a paid endorsement. I'm just uh, doing this so that uh, you know what to get, what will work. Uh, this is a Performax uh, uh, impact uh, wrench. It says here 440 foot-pounds of um, torque it can do. And uh, so that's, that's way beyond, uh, well beyond uh, the 270-some uh, that Chilton said that this is supposed to be torqued at. But anyway... Uh, so there it is, Performax. So both cameras can see it. It lets you study it a little bit. And as you can see, it did the job. These things are bear cats, absolute bear cats. And uh, why they to torqued them on so tightly, I don't know. So uh, hopefully that helps you out if you've been struggling with these axle nuts. This is a 1991 Mazda 626. And uh, so, in case you're working on that particular car, uh, this should do the job for you to get those axles let off. Remember, go, go back and forth. Uh, loosen, tighten, loosen, tighten and, uh, a couple times. Um, and, then, um, and then really hit it on loosening and it should come off. Uh, so that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you what this thing can do. And we'll t see you on the next video. This is Norm the Teacher.